Good morning, farmers. It is getting to be late July. Uh, July 23rd to be exact. Uh, the grass has grown. Uh, flowers are doing okay-ish. Um, they are just... Well, they say they're wet, so I assume the wife... I've been sleeping... I just slept three weeks, basically. Oh, I got some... Oh, I got a withered one here as well. Hmm, hmm. Interesting. Uh, semi-wet. A lot of semi-wet ones down here. Uh, I'll see if the wife waters them today. It's a good day, so she'll be outside. I want to see if she goes that far. I did go up to Oliver's after I slept, like, the first week. If you remember, I planted flowers up there. Those flowers have bloomed. And, uh, they're doing pretty good. I went up there and watered them. Just because I didn't, I didn't want to see if, if they would be watered up there by them or not. I just want to see by putting those flowers up there, will I get more than seven social points? Those flowers now have bloomed, so today when it reaches nine o'clock, which is another two and a half hours, I'll see if I get more than seven social points, and then maybe I'll swing in around there and see if they need to be watered or not. Uh, it, well, if, if the social points do change, then I knew I we will know that we get credit for those flowers not being on our property. Um, and then again, I made then once we know that I may just leave them to wither or see if Oliver and Amelia. Well, I'm getting bad at these names now. Uh, I think it's Amelia. Uh, we'll see if they water them. Our greenhouses. Well, at least this one here is ready. I really don't want to do the greenhouses first thing this morning. Uh, what I need to do is head on to the map. There are a couple things I need to do. Uh, plow, deliver. Uh, I didn't check these, but I want to see if there's any fixed buildings. No, there is not. So I do have two fields that need to be taken care of. Um, I mean, should I even bother for these small fields? Uh, I will, uh, because I can. Uh, so we'll, we'll have someone plow that field there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I've got to wait like six seconds, and then uh, I can hire one for the other small field. What we're actually going to do today is we're going to grab our tractor. Uh, we're going to empty out the fertilizer that's in there. We're going to go with, with some Fert X. And we're going to go to these three fields up here. I did check. Uh, they're both, well, all three are plowed and cultivated. I just want to come up here. We're going to fertilize these fields uh, with Fert X. That's why it's double fertilization. We'll take care of those fields, get them done. And uh, I think we may do the same to these. Not today, but another time. As for our cows doing manure, slowly but surely, I think we're going to be at, what, 30%? Actually, we only have 15%. I only have 7,560 liters since we fertilized three weeks ago. So, uh, yeah, they, they got plenty of food and stuff. So, we're I, I don't see us doing much more slurry uh, this year. I mean, we're going to use what we do have, but it's not going to be enough to do a lot of these fields here. So... Those two small fields will be plowed. It's not going to take them too long to plow that. Then I'll have them cultivated. Then it'll just be time for us to go over and put some fur X on there. Uh, for now, how much fuel? I got 61% fuel, which is more than enough. Uh, oh, that's right. I'm like, why can't I back up? Uh, because in Farmer's Dynasty, your equipment becomes detached when you reload the game. Uh, Rex, look out. Don't want to run into you. Back up to our storage. I probably should have checked to make sure I had fur X in here. I'm sure I do. Um, yeah, I got a little bit. Uh, let's go ahead and empty the fertilizer. Wham. Uh, and then load with some fur X. Oh, wait, fill fur X. Come over here. Uh, there we are. Good. A lot of weight in that back end. If I get to the greenhouse today, we do. If I don't, I can always do that off camera because we did that last week. I think it was last week. And uh, how much, you know, how many more episodes in a row do you want to watch me go into a greenhouse and collect and uh, replant? But anyways, yeah, let's head up to the northwestern part of the map. Get those three fields. I figured I'd just go up there because we haven't been up there in a while. We've been kind of like sticking around the farmhouse area. But I really want to get kind of far enough away so the wife goes outside. I want to see if she'll water those plants on the other side of the gate. If she doesn't... Oh, I almost wasn't paying attention about the bridge. Um, it doesn't take much to water the plants. When I watered them up by Oliver's, you don't have to stand there and water them too long. And many of you probably already know this. I just barely went... I was walking over just holding my left mouse button and just walking over them and... Wham! They were watered. Uh, it said very wet, so... Yeah, we'll, we'll see around 9 o'clock if I get more than 7 social points. Hopefully I don't miss it. Sometimes I'm not paying attention. 
uh, things pop up on the screen and uh, yeah I just I just don't pay attention uh, this field looks like it should be is it hundred percent only around uh, no I've got manure not artificial fertilizer so sometime in I think September 1st I think it is, is a date I'm kind of looking at for us to oh wow it's been a while since I've been up here um, you are here uh, I could just cut straight across probably not the best thing I probably should come down this road here uh, that'll be the best thing for me to do um, and I forgot what I was going to say oh uh, yeah but it's been a while since I've been up here to, to the northwestern part of the map I mean we harvested that back in April actually I don't know if I even harvest if I came up and harvested for these fields I may have hired someone to do so but uh, yeah I think I was, well, I was saying somewhere around September or the first week or so in September uh, is when all these fields need to be plowed cultivated which they all are so for the two that we're doing and then fertilize and then when September comes canola everywhere and I mean everywhere uh, do I need to do some wheat no I don't really um, I got enough feed for the chickens I can just buy feed for the chickens I'm getting mixed up here with farming simulator in this game now so I'm like uh, have I ever have I can yeah I don't think you can uh, directly feed the chickens with seed what am I thinking or with grain I got some fields up here that are ready for harvest. I wonder if I'll ever get any harvesting contracts. Like I said, I haven't been up here in a while. I think I had to turn right, and then I met my... Yeah, okay. I haven't been up here in a while. Let me uh, scroll on back. How far? Yeah, that's where I want to be. So this field up here on this bend is ours. Oh, the fertilizer spreader still has that little camera glitch in it for some reason. See how the screen's flickering back and forth? That's been that. It's been away since the last update, so I think I need to uh, go to this one here. Hopefully, that solves my problem. So let's turn it on and turn on our fur X. No, the screen is still doing that. There we go. We'll, we'll try this angle here. Hopefully, that solves the issue. So in case none of you happened to catch last week's episode on Tuesday, then you missed out uh, as, as why this is not on Monday anymore. I su suggest you go back and... It's only like a seven minute video or something like that. Um, why we're moving the date from Monday till... And I think I'm going to publish this video on... You know, I think you're going to see it on a Wednesday. Uh, what day? Is that going to be the 6th? I think it's going to be the 6th of November middle of the work week uh, what other news I go in that video that I probably could tell you oh yeah so the full release of this game now is going to be on the 21st November instead of I think it was originally going to be the 5th wasn't it was it the 5th or the 7th and you're probably wondering it should have been yesterday um, no they, they moved it to the 21st that way they can release it on all platforms I believe that includes Nintendo Switch uh, Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PC, and I do believe Mac as well. Um, don't hold me to, on the Mac -ish thing. I'm not sure about the Mac. Uh, but anyways, yeah, November 21st is going to be the full release. So uh, I mentioned that, and yeah, we're just not going to have Farmer's Dynasty on Monday for the foreseeable future. Uh, it's going to be like on a Wednesday now, I do believe, like uh, like today, this day of the week. I know I'm wasting probably a lot of fur decks. I'm, I'm just making sure that I get this field. I'd like to see 95%. Well, excuse me, uh, it's not going to say 95%. Um, I need to see like 190% fertilized. That's what we're looking for. This sounds kind of weird when you say it like that. It's like, don't you mean 100% fertilized? Well, yes and no. Um, Fur X is a combo of the uh, cow manure, the liquid slurry, and the artificial fertilizer. Uh, they gave us Fur X because the cows just don't produce enough fertilizer to always have your fields double fertilized. Which, to me, is kind of fine, really, because that's going to happen sometimes. So, well, I guess we'll just have to consider this as extremely potent fertilizer. That's the way we're going to have to look at it. But with Fur X, one trip around, and this thing doesn't use... I've only used 15% of my fertilizer. 
We'll definitely be using Fur X on the 7.55 hectare size field because that would be a lot of slurry. And I, the cows just are like, the cows, I'm like, I, I, I can't go that much. I'm like, then I need to feed you more. Uh, maybe if they took some total mix rations, maybe I could do so, but <laughs> they just take straw or grass. All right, so how are we doing on this field? Looks like I'm getting around nicely. Yeah, so I pretty much just want to take care of these three fields up here today. Uh, run around, take care of the greenhouses. Part of me is saying, you know, take some of the stuff from the greenhouses, can it, and go sell it to John. Um, but if I sell that much to John, John's going to turn into like a Costco's. And Costco's, for those of you who don't know what Costco's kind of is, it's like a big wholesale kind of a department store. Um, you'll have to sell that stuff in bulk because <laughs> I'll be selling them thousands and thousands of cans. I think we're I think we are over ten thousand tomatoes in the pantry. Is the wife actually using all the tomatoes? Probably not. I can't even get flipping melon pie. And not that I eat the meals at all. I just we just uh, live on Italian tomato soup. It's kind of like the first uh, three years on the series where I just ate eggs all the time, and then I finally got married and married, and I was like, "Wait a minute, you can make meals." All right. Yeah, it took me three years to, to get married. When the game first came out, it was rather... I don't want to say difficult, but it was time-taking to have the ladies fall in love with you. Um, they made it a lot easier since. That's for darn sure. But somebody out there, it's like, oh yeah, I can't, how come I can't hand out, when can I hand out gifts? When can I hand out gifts? And so you got, you got to put in time. I've never been able to hand out gifts at all. That's, that's one thing I have yet to ever do. And now I really probably can't do that because I don't think my wife would appreciate it, me handing out gifts to other, other people. I don't, can you hand gifts to guys? I don't, I have no idea. Um, I don't know if you can hand gifts to your wife either. But me and my wife now have been married for years. I, I don't know. You were destroying... Cr no, that's, that's my uh, that's my worker. Um, so how do we do on this field here? 97% fertilized and 91% manure, which turns out to be, what, 90, 193%? 188%. Wow, my math is uh, just terrible. Uh, oh, I was trying to do the average. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, what other field do I own up here? Uh, the one to the left. That one over there, apparently. So let's go over here and spread that. Yeah, I think I'll probably just take care of the greenhouses off-camera, because that just, uh... Yeah, we did that last week, and it's just me running over the greenhouse tables, and... And, uh, wait, what did I just do? I don't want to lower that. No, I want to cruise control. That button. There we go. And turn on with that button. There we go. I am a professional he says. So, yeah, by taking care of these fields, it's one section of the map I can kind of eliminate from my brain until September. But when September comes, yeah, we're going to be hiring probably four workers at a time, along with myself, seeding the fields as fast as we can, uh, getting as much done as we can. And I would assume, with four workers and myself going, I would assume I could probably get all my fields seeded in a week. I don't mean one episode, because I do one episode a week, but I mean, you know, I would assume seven episodes. Probably not even that long. If I work full days, <laughs> like I want to anymore. We're rich. Uh, but yeah, we'll probably, I'll probably uh, be working into the midnight hours. You know, my wife probably won't mind. Uh, she told me a long time ago, stop working long hours, but, you know, once or twice a week out of the year. I think she can't complain if I decide to work long hours. Work needs to get done. And I just can't keep hiring people all the time to do all my work and sit there on sit there on the dock in the fireplace. Um, so, no, seven social points still. Even though I planted all those flowers up at Oliver's. So, I may not get points for those. Or I haven't been there yet today. Maybe they all died in the last two weeks because no one has watered them. That could be a thing. 
So I'll have to go swing back by Oliver's on the way back to see if those flowers are there. Uh, maybe they're getting social points because of the flowers in their yard. I have no idea. But, uh, yeah, I wanted to try about putting more flowers there. I mean, I'm not going to go crazy with the flowers. It, it's kind of a neat idea that if you plant flowers in the yard, you get some kind of social points. But uh, at the stage that we're at, you know, we're pretty much at 1 million social points. I don't really care about an extra 2 or 3 social points. Although I would like to get my social points back up over a million. I don't know, the number just looks well uh, when you see the extra extra digit there. I don't know. I, d I don't need it, but you never know. Uh, with the full release coming out in, well, less than three weeks, um, who knows what else might be in the game then, so I might need some social points. Maybe you might, you know, it could be a thing where you can't buy things with money that you need social points. I, I don't know. Who knows what they have plans for in the full release. Because it's been a while since there's been an update to the game, period. Uh, I'm just trying to think quickly. I mean, when was the last update? I really I really don't know. I mean, we're in November. I want to say, was was it August? Or was it early September? I, I don't know. It just, it's been a while and I've, I've lost track of time. But I will keep uh, an eye out for some contracts and harvesting some fields. Or do I? Uh, or do I want to do that? I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll just take... I'll just take each episode week by week. I'm pretty sure... Uh, doing a harvesting contract once in a while... Uh, will be a nice mix. We haven't harvested in a while. So maybe... Maybe I won't skip a week next time. Maybe... Because now I see some fields are ready for harvest. Uh, maybe I'll just sleep day by day. And, and I'll, I'll look for a harvest contract. Those are hard to come by nowadays for me. Just because we own, um, I'm going to say like a third of the fields. Yeah, I just can't see myself buying all the fields. That just seems like it's way too much work. Uh, if I wasn't doing videos, maybe I would. But seeing that I'm doing videos, it if I own every field, we'd be, you know, I would have to work every day just to get the fields all, all squared away. I mean, I guess I could uh, just go forego. I mean, you don't really need to plow and cultivate and fertilize your fields. I mean, you could just replant if you want, but, you know, you're going to get a terrible yield out of it. How are we doing on the fur X? Oh, I'm, I, I, I've only used half of it, so I'm doing better than I thought. I was like, oh, when I come up here, am I, am I going to use this entire thing? Am I going to go back and refill? I'm not too worried about getting the field completely covered because that's... Uh, I don't want to say it's hard to do. I mean, I've done it before. Just that you're... You're probably wasting more fertilizer just trying to cover the whole field than just to get it roughly in the right area. But I do miss harvesting a little bit. So that's why when I saw those fields, I'm like, Oh yeah, I should take find a contract for harvesting. Although, I, sometimes, and I don't think that's a glitch, I don't know, I don't know if it was a glitch or not, but um, there are sometimes you take contracts where they'll say plow the field, and you go there, and the field actually has a crop in it. You can, and it, w w as long as you take the job, you can harvest the crops, and then plow it, and sell the crops for 100% profit. Um, where am I going next? Um, Alright, the field over yonder, uh, which means over there. Over here, over there. Uh, better make sure there's not a crop in this field. There isn't, but I'll, I will go around it. It's not my field. I should be really driving through it. Am I going to the right field? Am I? Mm -hmm. Is this mine? Yes, it is. Okay. I, I knew where I was going. The field that looks kind of light brownish because you haven't fertilized nothing on it. Um, plowed and cultivated. Alright, cruise control and on and you're good to go. 
I didn't check my stats in that field to make sure it was good enough for me. But I'm sure it is. Uh, over 180% means it's 90% both ways, so that's usually good. I still get a little... A little uh, confused on how they made this work. Since I'm using for X, I'm only spreading it one way. But yet, when you go look at a field, and I'll show you like when I get done with this field, if I remember, it'll show that I covered more with the fertilizer than with the manure? Or is it the other way around? I think that's the way it is. I'm trying to think, shouldn't the, the spread be even? Who, who knows why? Um, reasons is, well, it's Farmer's Dynasty. Uh, that's, that's the reason I am. It's not going to take me long to fertilize this field either. But it feels kind of good to be kind of moving it along. I would like to see uh, little Timmy come out of the crib. Um, I do not see that happening before the full release. Because basically after this episode, I got like, what, two more episodes before the full release comes out? Something like that. Yeah, so that's not going to happen, right? Um, I will be lucky if I'm even into seeding the field yet. I would assume, I think next year is Timmy. Timmy will be four next spring. That, that's one thing I kind of hope they bring, well, in the full release they bring to the game. You can kind of keep track of what year it is. I, I, I've lost track. I have no idea what year we're in. Um, Timmy's going to be either four or he's going to be three. And I don't remember. And let's see. I was married. I think I was married almost a year and a half before we had Timmy. So this could be... I th we're either... I think it would have been season five. You lose track. After the first three seasons, or at least for me, I lost track. Because up to this season, I did not skip weeks at all. I played pretty much every day. Um... And I, and I should probably clear the air in some of this. I, I get this kind of a lot. People think I cheated in my social points and money. I did not do that. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I worked every day. I did. I would do all contracts. I would focus on the contracts or... Uh, yeah, that's a little farmer similar coming out of me. Uh, the social point jobs. I did all four jobs every day. And basically, I would hire people to work my fields. Um, it was beneficial that way to do so. I because it was they actually raised the pricing for hiring workers to work on your own field now. Uh, back a while ago, it was really cheap to hire people to work in your field. So I would hire people to work in my field, and I would go do the social jobs, and I would get I would get paid a lot more than I was paying my workers. So I would get the social points and actually make a profit during the day by doing the jobs, and then hiring four workers to work in my wall. Back then, you couldn't hire four workers. You could probably hire two before the game maybe crashed. Uh, but that doesn't seem to be a problem anymore. Um, so that's how I earned all my social points. I would do all four jobs every day. Um, make sure I did always do, you know, plant canola in September. Harvest in the spring. I did three harvests every field every year. That's how I ended up with all the cash. And also taking the, like if you like I said, if you can t find a social job that says plow the field, and you get there and it has a harvestable crop in it, harvest the crop, and then sell it, then plow the field. You can, I don't know if that's still a thing or not, because it's been a long time since uh, I've had that opportunity. This field should be fully fertilized. So if you look in the field, yeah, 99% fertilizer. 95% manure. Should almost be the same. I just realized I don't have a scarecrow here. Um, right, so I gotta spend a little bit of money to do that. I better check my other fields. Uh, did I get... Are my workers done? No, I, I just clicked on... Mm -hmm. Yep, I do that. So, uh, when I was trying to scroll across the map, I clicked... Stop it. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. So, yeah, we're... we're uh, let's see. It's 100% fertilized. So, what fertilizer did I put down on it? I don't know. But it does need to be cultivated. And the other thing I probably should do is, you know, save the game. I haven't saved the game in a while. Can I get back on my tractor up here, please? Thank you. 
Um, I need to go back to my other fields now to see if there's a scarecrow in it. It doesn't really matter to put the scarecrow in it now. It just needs to be in there when you harvest. Mm -hmm. So I may have put that scarecrow there and it may be gone by next spring anyways. But I mean, they're so flippin' expensive. Um, I think I can afford it though. I think I can. Uh, yeah, I don't see a scarecrow here either. But now that I just remembered, let's go ahead and save the game. Uh, this file looks good. Save the game. I'll wait for it to save before I say anything. Game save. Yeah, so, I, I mean, I've ha I haven't had the game crash on me in a long time. Uh, really since last update. But the game, the game only used to crash for me when I hired workers. Especially if you were hiring, and I haven't been able to test this because I had no fields to harvest. But when I hired workers to harvest my field, uh, the game crashed then. But I think they solved that issue. Um, where are where, where is said scarecrow here? Um, there it is. Uh, got turned around. And if you don't know which way south is, all these scarecrows, I do believe, face south. Uh, so if you ever get confused which way you're facing, find the scarecrow. They face south, I do believe. Alright, turn around. And uh, let's go visit Oliver. Or Oliver's house. And we're going to see, well, how did I get in this field here? 99 to 94 so 6 7 so this should be 193 percent fertilized right is that correct why is that 188 that's 109 oh my oh because i'm not yeah i'm not in the other field yet peanut i'll shut up and just drive to oliver's how about that um yeah there we go that's what i should do there's another field ready for harvest Yeah, so I think what we'll probably do next week, if I if I try, there's a lot of fields here that are ready for harvest. I'll try just sleeping one day at a time and see if I can find a contract that allows us to harvest any fields. But like I said, it's been a long time since I've had one of those contracts come up. I may have to accept. Of course, it's hard. Like I said, it's hard to tell. It could be where they want you to plow the field, and then you get there and it's like, wait a minute, there's a crop here. There were a couple plow the plow field jobs today, but they were small fields, so it wouldn't be worth going up to harvest them and then plow them, that's for sure. And it was kind of funny when I was uh, checking jobs a while ago, I just started remembering. I remember when you didn't even know what the job was until you got there. Um, they just had the mark over the head and it's like, what do you got? And you had to drive there and talk to them and like, hey, this is a job I got. Do you want to do it? And it's like, uh, not really. And the other thing that just came back to me, I wonder when full release, if they'll bring the train back. Anyways, we'll slowly dip on down. What time is it? It's, uh, it's almost noon. Wow, I'm working late today. No, not really. <laughs> I usually work at about maybe two or three. How much fertilizer did I use today? Oh, I still got a uh, quarter of a tank left. It's all right, fella. I'm not. I'm not go getting in your lane at all. Not even close. Is it Amelia? Abigail. I think I keep calling her Amelia. I mean, I'm close. Close enough. Um, how are your flowers doing, by the way? They're all very wet. So, I was getting seven social points before I planted these flowers. Well, I planted these flowers. They are grown, and I still only get seven social points. So, I don't know if the flowers have to be on your property. To get the social points. Man, my tractor is messy. Um, 
Yeah, so it doesn't look like I'm going to get any social points for planting flowers on other people's property. But like I said, that would be kind of an interesting job to have, like a social job where they said, you know, you can get a job for, her name's Abigail, I'll get it right. Uh, if Abigail says, hey, uh, I would like, you know, 12 roses planted, planted around my house. Uh, that could be something. All right, I think what we'll do is I will actually wash this tractor. Is there any rain in the forecast? No, of course not. But I will empty out the Fur X out of the fertilizer spreader. Uh, two reasons. One, it'll eat away at the metal for sure. Whatever this, maybe this spreader's not made out of metal. I don't know. Never really touched one in real life. I've seen them, I never touched them. Uh, let's go ahead and empty that out. And if you left it in there, it'd also clump up as well. All right, Rex. I don't know. Looks like you're in front of your doghouse. So don't don't come over here. I don't want to run you over. And then enter. Wash vehicle. I think I'm washing the spreader, which is fine. There we go, wash vehicle. And just like that. Just like that, it's taken care of. And I might as well just park this right on in here because... You know what, I'm going to detach it and pull the tractor forward. That way I'll remember next time. There we go. Uh, let's run down to the pantry to see if the wife made any melon pie. Oh, also did she water these? They're all wet. I was I would say no. These down here were like semi wet. Semi wet, semi wet. I don't know how far they have to go before she waters them. So maybe I'll just let them go until you know if they die, they die, whatever. I'm not too worried about my seven social points every day. Uh, the pantry. Uh, nope, but we are getting, I think stuffed peppers is slowly going up, but I'm not seeing no melon pie. Uh, yeah, I think, I think this is a cap on here, because I think I had more than 9,999 tomatoes in here. I think we were way over that, and I think when the game reloads, I think it caps up at that, so I'm going to have to make some canned tomato soup. Uh, I already got 600 in my pocket because <laughs> I don't have enough. Uh, why do I got two apples in there? I have no idea. Uh, yeah, so it's like I'll have to make some canned tomato soup and put that in here. I'll probably have to sell it because my guess is there's a cap on that as well. I mean, a thousand, was that 3,000, 4,700? Yeah, I mean, I got, I got tons, I got tons and tons and stuff I could sell if I need to. Is she cooking? No, she's not cooking. Ah, uh, she's feeding the chickens. And the chickens are... They got tons of food left. That could last them 20 years. Okay, maybe not 20. I think it's a couple. And how are the cows doing as well? Well, they're all in here. I don't really come in here often. I'm kind of hoping on the release that we maybe get to use this. I think this is an automatic milking machine. But um, there's levers in here. And they all the pipes run over. And you can see the pipes hang right over where the udders are. Close enough. Um, so maybe you got to come in here and hitch it up. I don't know. Maybe that's what it was intended for. So we'll see in a couple weeks when this gets released. What was added, if anything. Or did it just uh, perfect the game a little bit more. Um, yeah, the greenhouses, I don't... I don't uh, I'm just going to go around later on here. I'll collect that. I'll replant them. I, actually, I may not even replant them. I got too many vegetables as it is. Maybe let's harvest them and just leave them as is. Um, and then that way, maybe when the release comes out, they might have new vegetables and I'll have room to put down some vegetables. Uh, little Timmy. Yep, he's been like that for a few years. Uh, but I do know is I think uh, when he grows up a little more, he'll be in this bedroom. I do believe. I think. I think that's the situation. I don't know. We'll find out. Uh, let me close that door. Close that door. Close that door. Close that door. Don't need them all open. 
yeah, eventually I'll go around and pick up the greenhouse. I'm not too concerned if I lose some. Uh, the longer I leave them in there, we're destroying crops that uh, grow here. Uh, oh, that's right. I got workers going, don't I? Um, I didn't hire someone to cultivate that yet. Ah, I'll just have to remind myself to get it next time. I mean, they're small fields anyways. Uh, plow the field. That wasn't even a, a hectare. Uh, they want tomatoes, transport, and spicy pumpkin. So, yeah, if I see one that says plow the field and it's a decent sized field, like this one says 0 0.97 hectares, uh, which one is it? Uh, probably this one right here. That's the field they probably want to plow. I mean, if there's crops in it, I would harvest it, but uh, it wouldn't be worth it, I don't think, unless the field's big enough. At least that's just my opinion. Uh, time. Can I sit down? No, I want to be able to see. Oh, you know why? I don't have a fire going. That's why I'm, I'm looking at myself. I don't want to look at myself. There we go. That's better. But that's going to do it for today, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching as always. And I'll catch you next time on the Dana Farm. But until then, have a good one.